Together in this video, we're going to create these five viral church social media posts using only our phones. You don't need to be an expert video editor to make these. You also don't need to spend any money on software. And I'm gonna show you how I've even got downloadable guides with written instructions and important links to make it as easy as I can possibly make it. Those guides also come with recommended captions for each of these posts. Now, last week I introduced to all of you the big idea of portraits as the kind of church social media post that I am most excited about this year. We talked about the three-part formula for this kind of post. We learned the three unique categories for this kind of post. All of that is in the video from last week, linked on the screen. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's also linked in the description. Today's video is dedicated to how to actually create these posts. So let's get started. First, the app you're gonna need on your phone is called CapCut. This is one of the most popular apps in the world. It is the app that young folks use to edit and create videos nowadays. Uh, watch out Final Cut and Premiere Pro. And the first video we're gonna be creating looks like this. So this is a photo dump style of post, stylized like retro film. So here we are in CapCut and we're gonna click use template. We then need to load up 13 different photos. And for this template specifically, you're gonna want photos in a vertical aspect ratio to fill the screen on the template. I'll load those up and click preview and we're done. Now, when you click export, you're presented with these options. First, a small setting dedicated to resolution. We'll keep that at 1080p. And then we've got two main options, save to device with CapCut watermark or save and share to TikTok without CapCut watermark. And the watermark that they're referring to is the CapCut logo in the top right of the video. Here's how to get rid of it. And look, there may be other ways to do this. Here's the way that's been working for me. I'm gonna choose save and share to TikTok. And you'll need a TikTok account for this, obviously. It doesn't have to be an active profile like mine is. You can just like create a burner for this purpose. The app will export the video and open TikTok. Click next at the bottom of the screen and now change the visibility of the post from everyone can view this post to only you. And then finally, don't post the video. Instead, save it to your drafts. You can now go to your camera roll and voila. The video is saved there without any watermark. You can now go back and delete the video from your drafts if you want. I wouldn't say it's the most elegant uh, solution, but it is effective. If you know a better way, please let me know. Okay, on to the next template. We're now going to be creating this. So a really cool photo dump style post that uses a cutout effect. This is the kind of video effect that would normally require masking and rotoscoping, but we're going to achieve this look in seconds without any of that tedious work. Same approach as last time. We're gonna load up the template uh, and I'll have links for all of these templates in the written guides that I'll share with you briefly. Here, we're gonna need between 10 and 15 photos that feature people in our church. It's the people that are going to be cut out of the images. So I'll keep adding photos until the queue is full then click preview. And now I'll click on the text to change that and I'll type in see you Sunday. I'll then go back and now I'm gonna click on sounds to find a backing track I like. The word praise is always a good search term to try. Uh, so add a song, adjust its length to taste and then click export. Next template, we're gonna be creating this. God is great. Is it that simple? God is great. Don't get no simpler than that, bro. So a different style of post, uh, you know, there are three types of portrait posts, three categories, if you will. The previous two we created would go in the photo dump category. Uh, this post in question would be in the encouragement category. The distinction is that a photo dump, uh, the emphasis there is the photos themselves with an encouragement portrait. The photo is there, of course, but there's an accompanying sound with narration or on-screen text, or in this case, both, that is reminding people of God's goodness and the promises of scripture. And for this template, we only need one photo, and this is totally your call, but I like a photo of someone here in the posture of worship, because that aligns best with the sound, I think. And sure, you could use any stock photo here, but when we pair this sound and on-screen text with a photo of a person you recognize, someone actually from your church, the impact and engagement with the content goes way up because you're reminded not just of God's promise, but of the fact that you and I are living out that promise in a community of people on the same journey. And so if there's any challenge I can give to you this year, especially to make portraits work, it is this. Don't spend another year relying on mass-produced templates and stock photos. Your church's social presence 
should actually look like your church. Now, that's not to say you have to abandon stock and templates altogether, but for many of our churches, it's all we have. And in 2024, we need to take steps towards more meaningful and substantive social ministry. If you are at a loss for how to capture photos like this, we'll touch on that toward the end of the video. Now, for this template, we are back in CapCut. We choose the photo we want of a person, actually from our church, in a worshipful posture. We click Preview, then we click Export. We go through our workaround to delete the watermark, and we've got a post ready for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. Next up, let's create another encouragement-style portrait. Here's what we're gonna make. So for this template, when I'm choosing images, I like to choose photos of church life and community rather than worship, like in the last post, uh, because those kinds of images align better with the sound and its message. So we need just six photos for this post. I'll load them up, preview, export, and we're done. Fifth and final template now, and we're moving to a new category of post, the third category of portraits. We've done category number one, photo dumps, category number two, encouragement. Now for category number three, fun. Church is community. Church is the people. And guess what? Church family is fun. And your church's social presence should have some levity now and again. Uh, so here's the video we are going to be creating. Now, for this post, I like to have the accompanying caption read something like, we love our worship team or we love our greeters. Basically, choose a team of volunteers that you want to highlight in the church and have this post be about emphasizing their efforts and how much you value them. So we just need two photos for this. Again, make sure they're related. So we'll do worship team photo number one and worship team photo number two. Preview, export, done. So there you have it, your five social media templates. If you scan the QR code on the screen right now, you can download the cheat sheets for each post that include the template links, written instructions, and recommended captions. The link for those cheat sheets is also in the description. Now, what about these photos? Maybe you don't feel your church is equipped to do it. Today, we are launching a brand new solution for that. It's called Portraits by Social Sermons, where every 90 days, we will actually send a professional photographer to your church. They will do an in-person photo shoot capturing church life on a Sunday morning, and then we'll use those photos to develop your church's custom social media portraits. Sent to you brand new every single month. And get this, every example you've seen so far in this video is from a church where we sent a photographer to them and then used those photos to develop these posts. Every example you've seen so far is from this service. It's brand new today. Again, it's called Portraits by Social Sermons. Uh, social Sermons is our custom social media service for churches, and we're really excited to add this new product to what we do. You don't need an existing Social Sermon subscription to sign up for Portraits. You can scan the QR code on the screen right now or go directly to socialsermons.com slash portraits to see pricing and explore the product. Link is in the description, of course, as well. I will also add that a launch discount for one week only ending Tuesday January 23rd is live right now to celebrate the release of this new service. Again, that promotional pricing is only live for one week. And once you're locked into your price, you keep it for as long as you remain. If you have questions, you can interact with me directly by clicking the little speech bubble in the bottom right corner of the screen on the Social Sermons website. And thanks as always for your time, attention, and trust. We'll talk real soon.